Hi, good morning. So my name is Budi uh, and I'm here at Tertiary Infotech and today we'll be going through an introduction to robotics and we'll be using the Nereo Net2 companion robot or for short Cobot. Uh, in this new series, we'll be covering a few basic examples, how we can connect to the robot as well as how you can control the robot via programming script. So in this tutorial, we'll be going through a basic movement and pick and place. But before that, since we are going to program the robot straight away from our software, please ensure that the robot is turned on and fully calibrated before we start. Uh, these are the software that I'll be using for this tutorial. I'll be using a Python, which will be run in the Visual Studio Code. And these are the libraries that I'll be using for this tutorial and the subsequent tutorials. Uh, most of the documentation that I'll be using is uh, this documentation, Pioneer documentation. I'll be using most of the examples from these documentations for this series. Okay, so without further ado, let's turn on the robot and start the tutorial. Okay, so once our robot has shown a breathing green light, that means it is fully calibrated. So now we can start coding our robot. So let's go over to our Visual Studio Code. Uh, most of the libraries, yeah, I have pip installed it in my virtual environment. So we can start coding our program. We'll do the first uh, basic one, first join movement. Okay, so up to here we have done with the first setup of the of the program. So let's run it first to check if there's any error and to check whether our library is properly installed. Okay, it looks like we have a problem in line two. This is this is due to the Prior to this, prior to this uh, tutorial, I have configured my robot to to be connected to the local network, so we cannot use the robot's IP address. So instead, we will use our IP address, uh, our local host IP address. Let's just want to copy paste. Yeah, let's try again. Yes, we can. So, once we have properly set up, we will program our first movement. Okay, so let's try running the program. So, for the move join, the syntax, uh, since our cobot has, so we'll be using this. Oh, sorry. So we'll be using this uh, this function called the move joints, and this is based on the six joints that we have on the robot, and these floats are represented in radians. Okay, so let's try to run the program. Let's run it. Okay, it looks like we are able to control. The robot. So for now, what if we want to move the robot using this instead of the radians here? I have prepared a, another program that converts degrees into the radians. So in here, I have include NumPy and the arrays library to convert degrees to convert the degrees into the radians and just do note that uh, it has to be in the float with a one decimal place and i have converted that as well to match the state so let's try so maybe we want to move 60 degrees for join one 
the degree is joined to Okay, let's run. Okay, so we can move the robot. And that is for basic movement. So let's just reset all this to zero. So if you want to check where is zero degrees all the joints can do so okay yes. so zero decrease will be this position right let's move on to the pick and place 